Hello and happy Friday. Hello. If my hair looks big, I took a shower this morning. But I want to talk a little bit about today your mindset and why it's so important. Because let me tell you this. I know from my own experience, the moment you begin to change whatever is going on in your mind, everything else changes around you. It's almost like you were in control of the world. Just imagine that. If you were in control and you could change how other people perceive you, how, well not change how other people perceive you, let's not go that far, but to change what comes into your life and to change the way, almost like how the situations that are brought into your life are. Imagine that, because this is something that I've learned as someone like myself. The law of attraction is very strong for me in particular. So, if I feel very upset or very angry or something, guess what? I'm going to bring more into that. I'm going to bring more of that into me and I'm going to see more for, you know, all that negativity and such. But the moment I change that, things actually change. Not just with me, but in, in, in the world. It's almost like when I begin to change my perspective on something, everything changed. Hmm. I'm going to show you some of the tactics that I used. But first, real quick, let me just say thank you all so very much for the positive words in the previous video. I would say I'm pretty much 95% good at this time. There's pretty much no coughing at, the, at this point. There's no shortness of breath. There's no tightness in, in the chest. Sorry, there was like a tightness like right here. Not really, no, I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. It's not a tightness. I felt like there was something there, like something t tingling there. When I would cough, I would feel it. That's not happening anymore. It's very, very minor. It's like that that little bit um stomach issues are pretty much non-existent so pretty much everything is back to normal okay it's not to say that i'm not still you know that if i do too much i could relapse it is possible i'm just i'm not over overdoing anything but then again i don't really overdo anything in life anyway but that's something else that my mind has been upset about this whole nonsense going on and being People not really understanding the impact their actions have. The amount of people who are going to be impacted uh, by, you know, unemployment, which is going to be way higher than, you know, what's, what's going on. I've talked about a bit about that, and people get so aggressive at that. People get so upset at that. It's like you care more about some little trivial thing than you do the people who are going to die afterwards. It's very selfish. It's very, very selfish. So that makes me really upset. That makes me really angry. So instead of experiencing that, I did several sort of ta tactics and techniques and I, I, I visualize in my mind. And I see people who are almost like in control of certain things. People who are, what do you call them? Like those people who are like energy vampires almost, who will suck out your energy. There are people like that in my life, I know that not personally, but people who have projected some sort of amount of hatred towards me and keep doing it again and again and again. There are several people who are very, very, they think that they're being clever. They think that they're being sneaky, but they're not, they're not at all. They have so many different, um, ways of kind of sneaking in, but they do not succeed at all. So, when I was doing some of these practices, I saw those people, and I realized they were almost trying to be like the puppet master. They're trying to control me. No one controls me except for me. So, they all went away. I visualize that, I see that, and I visualize the scenario going away and me having, regaining my control. As well as a few other scenarios that, as I mentioned, when I thought about it, when I imagined it, things in the world changed. So it doesn't change overnight, but it was a slight change to the point where it looks like things may be headed into a different direction than even what I initially thought or what 
what I what I hope is more of the direction that I am s a positive direction that I'm seeing. We'll see though. Nothing nothing will, will, will be positive of what's happening in the world right right now. Um, after this is done, that's that's gonna be the most devastating thing. But I just did that, and I imagine that, and we're saying we're saying. The other thing is, even when I was sick, also, when I felt that tightness there, I performed this sort of technique. Visualize that. Visualize that that sickness, that virus, whatever that was. I imagined it going out. I imagined it leaving. And then that's when I started to feel better. I mean, it was past that point that I started to feel better. That could have been what prevented me from getting worse. That could have been stopping it and getting rid of it. Now, I know some people will be like, it's all in your head. That doesn't matter. And I say to you, why are you watching this channel? Because this is what we talk about. So obviously, you got too much time on your hands if you're watching this channel when you know it's about spiritual aspects of curing, not curing, helping your problems. Hmm. Interesting how you're still watching. <laughs> anyway, we don't focus on those people. Because here's the thing, do you focus on positive or do you focus on negative? It's easier to focus on negative. Even when we talked about that dissociative identity d d disorder drama, those two people are focusing on the negative. I don't understand it. Just whew, all of you need to perform this. And if anyone's watching this and you're feeling that, just just perform this. Okay? Let me, let me show you what I did. So I have here a sage smudge stick, okay? This is known for getting rid of negative energy. Negative energy, negative spirits, it's used for cleansing homes from spirits and, and that sort of stuff, okay? You can remove a lot of negativity f uh, from yourself. I, I heard that you can't, you can't do this to, uh, to yourself, and I say, that's a load of crap. You can do this to yourself, you can do this to anyone, you can do this to, to your environment. So don't think that you can't do that. Don't think that, that you can. So I have my lighter here. I can't really show you because I can't really set, set the phone down in, in a good spot to show you, but you crack the window. A little tiny bit. Doesn't have to be much. If it's cold out there, doesn't matter. A little tiny bit. You light up your sage smudge stick. Here's a big one. It's very hard to light. You have your feather. And then, what you do is when the smoke is going, you blow it toward, towards you and imagine. You go all over, okay? And you imagine the negativity pouring out. And here's what I did when it came to me being sick specifically. So what I did was I took that smudge stick and I was visualizing it. I was visualizing it going through my body and going through the affected parts of my body, which was right here in my lungs, okay? It was right in the center. That is the spot that I had the most discomfort and pain and the coughing and all that all that sort of stuff at 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 the moment of me doing it my stomach was not hurting so I didn't I didn't focus on that although that that also would have would have would have been good as well but I kind of forgot about it because right now I was just I was just constantly coughing it was very annoying <clears throat> so imagine that okay and then I I'm very sensitive to smoke but for some reason this smoke does not bother me so as I'm doing that I breathe in the smoke and I imagine it going down and just killing off whatever foreign nasty thing is in there, okay? Whatever it is, whether it's the thing that's, you know, very popular right now or something else, it doesn't matter what it is. If you feel discomfort, no matter what it is in there, you visualize that, you focus that because you're in control of your body and you can change these things. People who are like shaking their head, guess what? They've never tried it. They've never done it. They don't know any experience about it. But I guarantee you, if you practice this, if you imagine this, you know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm a little better at doing this sort of stuff than some other people are because I believe in the power of the mind. Whatever you believe comes true. So whatever I focus on comes true. So if I'm focusing on negativity and anger, I draw that to me as was evident. I don't do that. No, I don't. I don't do that. I'm not going to do that, rather, because I have done it. So I did that, 
and then you feel, and you imagine it going outside the window, all that negativity. And then you're breathing in positivity, okay? But here's the other thing. You have to demand it. I pretty much have said, get out, get out, okay? Almost like you're yelling at some foreign entity who's like staying, who's like staying there and they're, they're, they're not listening to you being calm, no. Like, please, can you just leave, please? They're like, we're not gonna leave. You have to d demand it, you have to force it, okay? That's what you gotta do, you gotta yell at it. That's not how it is for everything, but I knew for what I was experiencing, I had to yell at it. So I yelled at it, went out. And then, above my head, that's when I noticed <clears throat> those people who were trying to be like puppet masters, those people who were trying to control. It's very interesting. I saw them, and then, it almost like it went out into those people and they just ran off scared. They ran off terrified because they couldn't handle the fact that I was aware of what was going on there. And from that moment, as I said, from that moment, these people suddenly vanished from, you know, from my life. I, it's like they didn't even exist anymore. Number two, something changed in the world after that moment as well because this was all related to it which i imagine which i focused on is like get things back to normal here stop with this nonsense of going back and forth and just lie after lie after lie let's not do that anymore let's focus on moving forward sure enough things are moving forward so we were saying again I'm not the one who's controlling everything, but at the same time, when you really think about it, imagine, and I know this is probably a strange thought, and I think it's like from a movie or something, probably from like the Matrix or something, I don't, I don't know, I've never actually watched that, so I really don't, don't know what that's about, but imagine if this world right now is made for you, like this is just a simulation for you, and all these other people exist just to make you believe that this is real. But it's really not. It's just a simulation for you and you alone. Because your real body or whatever it is, is way off somewhere else. Imagining all this and experiencing all this in some, I don't know. But So if you put it in, into that perspective, then you realize, guess what? If this world is made for me and all these things exist as like some sort of chemical reaction of different things I have control over that then I have only have control if I actually reach out back into that main self that's you know way off somewhere else and I can actually imagine that who just feeling very strange now after I started talking about about this like suddenly it just got really really hot obviously they don't want me talking about this <laughs> obviously I'm not meant to talk about this but oh Whew. Gosh, it feels like my face is on fire. Is it red? No. I don't know. Okay, I think I should st stop it now before we go too far to the point where something crazy is going to happen. I don't know. But use those tactics. You can also use after you're uh, you're done to seal out n to seal out negativity. Put some salt around your window in the window sill. I, I put it on the outside of the window so and there's also some oil you can use this is like what they use for like um, um what's it called I don't remember what it's called but you can do that and put it around the frame of the window or the door to prevent the negativity from coming in and let me tell you this it will it will come back eventually this is not a protection for the rest of your life okay you gotta keep keep up with this here but i can guarantee you if you do it if you keep if you keep focusing on that you will change your life in a way that is extraordinary you will change so many things because it's your perception that that you're changing even if you technically aren't changing anything else you're changing your perception your perception is what matters okay and here's what I mean. Here's another example. You're in need for a f for money. You're looking for money, and 
you, a lot of people, millions of people will be looking for money after this nonsense is done. It's going to be really tough for a lot of people. Um, that wasn't part part of the plan, now was it? Yeah, so many people are going to be looking for money. That's going to cause a lot, a lot of depression and deaths, unfortunately, which some people don't seem to care about. But I guess it's just me being caring. So. If you're in need of money, you can't do that. Imagine if someone gave you a little bit of money. We're talking like maybe like a few dollars. And then you're thinking in your mind, that's not enough. That's not enough. Is that the right way to be viewing money? Or should you be grateful for that additional amount of money? So what I mean? It's your perspective. If you view it as, that's not enough money. I can't do anything with this money. But you take it any anyway. That means you're not going to attract any any more money. But the moment you think of just a few pennies as something to be grateful for, everything changes. Everything changes. So remember that. I change my perspective on that and many other things, and then everything just comes to you. Just just remember that. Just remember that. Okay. Go take care now. Bye bye.